I often receive the same question, how much does it cost to work with Toronto real estate agent? In this video, I will explain the cost of hiring a realtor and how to benefit the most from this cooperation. Hello, my name is Elena and I am real estate broker with Sotheby's International Realty here in Toronto. My team and I help our clients to relocate to Toronto or simply to choose a great neighborhood in the city. If you find this video useful, please like and comment down below and if you're on my channel for the first time, please subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this about living and relocating to Toronto as well as Toronto real estate. Let's begin. Here are five facts about the cost of hiring a real estate agent. Number one, real estate services for buyers are free. In most cases, buyers' agents are compensated by sellers. However, there are some exemptions from this general rule, which we will mention later. Second, if you are a seller, you will have to pay the agent uh, who lists and markets your home and an agent who brings a buyer. Number three, real estate commissions are negotiable. Number four, different services will be included and not included in your commissions. Be sure to understand the commissions you've agreed to pay and what services are included before signing your listing agreement. And number five, the seller pays real estate commissions at closing and only if the property sells. Now let's see in detail what can be involved if you are working with a real estate agent as a buyer. As a buyer working with a realtor, you will be asked to uh, sign a contract called Buyer's Representation Agreement. It outlines that you generally don't have to pay your agent a commission fee. However, there may be certain circumstances where the buyer may be required to pay their agent. For example, if you are buying a property that listed as for sale by uh, owner, the seller may not be willing to pay a commission to your agent. These cases are very rare, but you need to discuss this matter with your agent in advance. Many potential buyers ask when it is the right time to sign a buyer representation agreement. This topic is very sensitive for agents and their clients both. Agents from one side are not willing to spend time showing properties to buyers who are not committed and who keep their freedom to buy a property with any other agent. And clients are not willing to step into binding agreement uh, as they are not sure if this agent is good enough to meet their expectations. Over the years of working with buyers, I developed an approach that I think is fair for, to both sides. On our first consultation, we determined my potential clients' needs, wants and budget. Based on this information, I offer them to see two, three properties that match their interests. And I suggest that if they feel comfortable working with me, we will sign the buyer agreement and continue working working. If not, uh, they are free to choose any other agent. This approach helps uh, build a trustful and respectful relationship from the very beginning. If you like my approach and would like to, to give it a try, please contact me by texting, calling or sending me an email with your inquiry. Now, let me give you some tips on what services you must expect and how to make cooperation with your agent the most productive. First off, be clear about what you are looking for and expect your agent to do his or her best to match your needs. If you are looking for a home in a great school district, a condo in a nice area or a uh, piece of land to build a new home, make sure your agent knows this market. Consider your budget and time frames and expect your agent to show you only relevant properties without wasting your time. Your agent must advise you on the prices, cons and pros of the neighborhood uh, and everything else related to your interests. Please download my buyer's guide to see what I do to help my buyers to choose the right home. You can find the link below this video. Now let's see what you can expect in terms of fees and services if you are a seller hiring an agent to sell your Toronto home. If you are selling a property, you will pay a commission fee to your real estate agent and buyer's agent as well. The commission is a percentage of the final sale price and in Toronto it typically ranges from 3 to 5% on the sale price. 
it's important to keep in mind that this fee is negotiable, so don't be afraid to ask your agent if they are willing to adjust their commission rate. In many cases, sellers interview two or more agents and their value propositions. Please keep in mind that the list of services, their quality and the agent's experience will be reflected in the fees they charge. Cheaper doesn't mean better, so uh, when making a decision, please assume all the cons and pros. Many sellers get confused about the percentage they pay to their listing agent. Let me explain the real breakdown. For a purpose of example, let's assume that your agent said uh, you would pay 5%. Sellers often think that this is how much their agent will make, which is wrong. The listing brokerage will pay 2.5% uh, out of 5% to a brokerage that brings a buyer. Then your agent will have to pay his or her brokerage commission split. It can be 10, 20 or even 30%. Don't forget the marketing of your listing and other services which come along with the process of sale. You can be very straightforward with your agent and ask about the budget of each service and the exact breakdown. If you are interested in my list of services and my fees, please contact me or download my seller's guide from the link below this video and get in touch. At the end of this conversation, I will give you the list of more or less typical questions clients ask. Don't hesitate to contact me if uh, this resonates with you. Question number one. Are there any restrictions on how the real estate commission is structured in Ontario? Question number two. What is the standard commission in Toronto? Number three. Is real estate commission negotiable? Number four, do I have to pay HST on commission in Ontario? Question number five, when do I pay a realtor commission? Number six, do I pay less commission if my home sells quickly? Number seven, how can I save money on real estate commissions? In conclusion, the cost of working with a Toronto real estate agent can vary depend on several factors. However, in general, you can expect to pay a commission fee if you are selling a property while buyers typically don't pay commission fee at all. If you have any questions about real estate agents fees uh, in Toronto, don't hesitate to reach out. Contact me by calling, texting, emailing, or even commenting down below. I am actively using WhatsApp, a Viber and WeChat for your convenience. Also, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell button to be notified every time I post a new video about living in Toronto as well as its real estate. Please comment down below with your questions and if you are thinking of moving to Toronto or simply relocating to a great neighborhood, I will be happy to help. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next videos.